Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amulya's Academy. We were discussing about matplotlib package and next in this series we'll discuss about legend, how to add legend to the plot. In a chart or graph, a legend is an area of graph describing each of the part of that graph. So legend is nothing but part of the graph which explains each part of that graph. A lot of time graph can be self-explanatory but having a title to the plot, labels on the axis that is x label and y label and a legend that explains more about the graph. If a graph contains title, label as well as legend then seeing that names we can guess what that graph is representing, what type of data we are representing using that graph. We already discussed about how to set title as well as label in the plot. Next we need to learn how to insert legend in the plot. Legend will contain the information of the graph. So I'll show you an example. So here we have a python program. So we are importing matplotlib.py plot and we are importing numpy as the np because I want to create an array. Next here we can say I used plot function here. We are plotting two set of data. So we'll have two graph or line in the output plot. So here we can see this is the first plot. The data in the x axis is nothing but t power 2 and the color of that graph is red. And the second set of data is t cube t power 3 and the color is green. And this is the x label y label and title next show function. Now if I save this and run this. So in the output here we can see the two lines in the plot right so red line and green line but by only seeing the graph we can't say which line is representing the square and which line is representing the cube right if you want to show that information on the plot then we can use the legend which will tell what line is representing which type of data if you want to insert legend to the plot then you can use legend function of pyplot module so the syntax of this function is simple. This function belongs to pyplot module. So you need to mention matplotlib.pyplot.legend and it contains arguments and keyword arguments. So we can have zero or more arguments or keyword argument. This is the general syntax of legend function, but we usually call this legend function in three different way. First is we'll call this legend function without any argument. Second is we'll call this legend function with labels. And third one is we'll call this function with handles and label. Okay, so these are the three way of calling this legend function. So let's discuss about each call one by one with examples. First we'll discuss about the legend function without any argument, how to use the legend function without any argument. When we don't pass any argument to the legend function, the elements to be added to the legend are automatically determined. So which element need to be added to the legend that will be determined automatically. And when we want to include legend to the plot, we need to give name to the line or the graph that is called as label. For example, here we are drawing two lines, right? So this is the first set of data. Here we are drawing one line and this is the second set of data. This is the second line. So if you want to include this line in the legend, we need to give title to the line. That is nothing but we need to label this line. To label this line in the plot function, I can use the label keyword argument. So here I can just mention label and here I can mention the string value that is the name here we are drawing this line to represent the squares so i'll take the line title as squares here and next here this is for the cubes so i'll take the label as cube this is the string value cubes so now to include the legend to the plot we need to call the legend function so i'll call this function without any argument plt dot legend here plt is nothing but matplotlib.pyplot and now if i execute this so here we can see the legend which will explain 
which line is representing which type of data. Now by only looking at the graph we can say which type of data we are plotting. Here red line representing the squares and green line representing the cubes. So as I said this legend function without any argument automatically detects which element need to be added to the legend. If you mention label here that means you need to add that element to the legend. If you didn't mention that it won't add that element to the legend. For example now if I remove this okay so here I am not mentioning the label and now if I execute this here we can see only one entry in the legend that is for the line 2 that is the line for the cubes. We can't see the entry for line 1 that is the squares that is because here we didn't include label that's why it won't include that line in the legend. So if I remove label here also that means I am not mentioning label in any line. So now if I execute this we will get error. Here we can't see the legend and here we can see no handles with the label found to put in legend. So if you want to include legend in the plot then you need to give name or the label to the line. Based on that label legend function will determine which element need to be added to the legend. We can add legend to the plot with single line or multiple line. So here we are drawing two set of data so two lines in the plot and we are using the legend function. If you are plotting single set of data then also you can use the legend function or if you are using three set of data, four set of data or four lines, five lines in the plot then also you can use this legend function. Okay so this is the one way to call the legend function and next we'll discuss about the second way. So the second method to call the legend function is calling the legend function with the labels. We can use this method to make legend for the lines which already exist on the axis or plot. So here label means iterable of string. So label is nothing but the name or text which will display in the legend right. Here we need to mention label as iterable of strings. For example in the second method no need to label the line while creating the element. No need to label the line here. We can label this line while calling the legend function. So for that here we need to take legend and inside this we need to take label and here label is nothing but iterable of string. So we need to take the label within the list or tuple. For example here we can see first line is for squares right. So I will take in the list squares. This is the first label comma next the second label is cubes. So I will take cubes. So this is the label. Now if I execute this here we can see squares and cubes. This is the second way of calling the legend function. No need to label the line while creating the element. Instead of that we can label the line while calling the legend function. But problem with this method is the order of these labels are depend on the order of this line. For example the label for the first line is squares right. So we need to mention that first here. So the order of element should be same as the order of the label. If I take cubes first next squares so it will take the first line name as cubes and the second line name as squares. Red lines as cubes and green as squares. Here the order of label is dependent on the order of the element. So we should be careful about that and if I mention only one label here for example squares. So that means it will apply that name on the first line. So that means it will add the first line to the legend. It won't add the second line to the legend. It will take that label as the label for the first line. Here we can see. Now if you want only the second line in the legend. If you don't want to add the first line to the legend. We can't do that in this method. Because when I mention only one label here it will automatically takes that as the name for the line 1 and it will add that to the legend. So there are few drawbacks in the second method. Okay so next we will discuss about the third way to call the legend function that is with handles and labels. We are calling the legend function with handles and labels. 
Using this method, we can explicitly define the elements in the legend. For full control of which artist or element have a legend entry, it is possible to pass handle and label respectively. So here handle is nothing but the original object which is used to generate an appropriate entry in the legend. And label is nothing but the name or the text which, which will appear on the legend, right? And here we need to take handle in the list or tuple and also label is nothing but iterable of strings. So let's see the example then you'll understand it better. Here this plot function will return the list of object because here we are drawing only one set of data that is this is the x value and y value. We have only one set of x and y value. This plot function will return list of single element. That element is nothing but the handle which is used to generate an appropriate entry in the legend. When we call legend function without any argument, it automatically takes this handle. But if you want to mention it explicitly, then we need to take an variable to store that handle, right? Or the element present in that list. So for that, I'll take a variable called line one. I'll use comma and equal. So here I'm using line one. This is the variable which will hold the object which will return by this plot function. As I said, this plot function will return list of single object. To unpack that single object from the list, we need to use line one comma like this. We need to use variable like this. I will give you a small demo. So here I have a list. Okay. So now if I want to access this element one by one, I can use the index to access this value or I can unpack this list. To unpack this list, I can mention a comma b comma c because this list contains three elements. So I'll take three variable and I'll take equal to list one. Now if I check a, a value is one, sorry, uh, b value is two and c value is three. So it will unpack the list one and it will store that value in the a, b, c. Now if list contains only one value, for example, I take list two and I'll take value as two. It contains only one value. Now if I want to unpack this, if I just mention a equal to list two, that is nothing but a will become another list and a will contain the list two. But I want to unpack this list. I want to get value two. So for that, I can mention like this a comma equal to list two. If I mention this now, if I check a, a is nothing but value two. So to unpack the single value from the list, we need to mention like this a comma variable name followed by comma. That is nothing but the tuple. The value which is separated from the comma is called as tuple, right? So this is the tuple. So here, as I said, this plot function will return a list with the single value. So to unpack that single value, I need to write line one comma. Here also, I need to follow the same method, line two comma. So here we are drawing the single set of data. That's why this plot function will return the list of single object. To unpack that single object from the list, we'll use the variable like this. Now line one and line two are the handles. So here, we need to take handle in the list or tuple. So I'll take it in the list line one, my line two. And next I need to take the labels. So label is nothing but list or tuple of strings. So I'll take first name as squares for the line one, the label for line one. And here I'll take cubes. Now if I execute this, here we can see squares and cubes. So this will give full control of which element need to be added to the legend. So if I don't want to add line one, so I can remove this and I can remove the label for that. I want to add line two to the legend. I don't want to add line one to the legend. So for that here we can write like this handle as line two and name as cubes. Here we can see only one entry that is the line two entry in the legend. We can change the order also if I take line two comma line one and here we can take cubes comma squares.
like this cubes squares the first entry will be cubes second entry will be squares when we call legend function without any argument it will automatically detects handle and label it will automatically take this handle and label if you want to explicitly mention that you can use this method and one more thing here we can write this handle in the list or tuple instead of uh, list i can use tuple also here here we can see but if you are uh, taking a single value in the parenthesis that is not a tuple for example if i remove line 1 now now line 2 is not a tuple tuple is nothing but the value separated by the comma so now line 2 is nothing but it is the value enclosed within the parenthesis now if i execute this we'll get error because we need to write this handle within the iterable okay so either you can make it as tuple or you can enclose this within the list to make it tuple you need to use a comma here here we can see it will work if you don't want to use tuple then you can easily use the list all right so this is about the three ways to call the legend function next we'll discuss about the basic terms which are related to the legend here we can see a box right this is called as legend and here we can see line followed by cubes this line and cubes called as legend entry and this legend can contain multiple legend entries for example if i take line 1 squares now legend contain two entries okay and in the legend entry it contains key and label here we can see a line right or the marker it is called as key and this text is called as label this entire box is called as legend and legend contain legend entries here this key and label together called as legend entries and this marker is called as key and this text is called as label okay so this is about the legend function how to add legend to the plot so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care